Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to modify the I.O. update rate or the poll rate that we extract data from the PLCs and our end devices. A lot of times we need to adjust how fast we're updating our screens on our graphical representation or how fast we're logging our data to our historians. So there's a property that's typically set at the configuration time that we can expose that and modify that configuration variable at runtime to adjust those speeds to give us a different resolution of data coming from our end devices. So let's take a look at this in action. If you look at my in-touch screen here, you can see I have some data being pulled at a five second rate. You can see the refresh on the screen is five seconds. You can see our thumbnail of our graphic is being updated every five seconds. We consider this a slow poll mode. If I want to look at this in a trend, I can see this data being logged to my historian at that frequency. If I look at the data in my historian query tool, we can see the data is indeed being updated every five seconds. 931, 22, 27, 32, 37. So every five seconds, I'm logging a piece of data to my Wonderware historian because my poll rate that I'm pulling data from the PLC is set for five seconds. I have it set up for delta storage, so the data is changing very frequently. So basically every five seconds, I'm gonna get a point in my historical database. So now we're gonna go change that parameter at runtime to see the difference of the data being updated on the screen. So I'm gonna change this to a, a mid-level, which is basically a thousand milliseconds. And you can see the data is updating a lot quicker on my real-time display. The data is updating a lot quicker in my trend. So we're pulling the data from our PLC, in this case a simulator, at a one second rate, which affects the display and affects how fast I'm logging my data to my Wonderware historian. If I look at my data in a historian client trend, you can see I'm getting finer resolution of my data that's being logged to the Wonderware historian because I ultimately changed the poll rate I'm getting data from the PLC and then I'm storing data at that faster rate inside my Wonderware historian. If I look at my data in my query tool, you can see now I'm getting data every second, 39, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see every second there's a sample being written to my Wonderware historical database. So now I'm going to change this to a fast poll rate, which in this case is 500 milliseconds, and you're going to see the data is coming in a lot quicker. You know, on my trend thumbnail, you're seeing the data update more often. You're seeing it on my live display. So if I use my query tool to analyze that data at the 42 minute mark, you see I'm getting data now about every 500 milliseconds. So let's take a look at behind the scenes of how we're doing this. Every I.O. server that Wonderware has or the new OI servers that Wonderware has, there is a device group. And in the device group, we have an update interval. And that update interval is typically set at configuration time. The default right here is set up for 1,000 milliseconds. But this is the parameter that's exposed to us at runtime that we can change. So that's what we're changing on the fly to go out and pull that data from the PLC at a faster rate. So in my InTouch application, I created a variable called update times an IO real. And the access name is simulation, is sim, and that's pointing to my simulation I.O. server. This could be an Allen Bradley driver, a Siemens driver, a Modicon driver. All Wonderware drivers or OI servers or DA servers have this property available to us to be able to change this variable at runtime. But the actual variable that I'm changing is the sys dollar update interval. It's built into all the Wonderware drivers. So this is the variable that I'm writing to when I'm changing the screen to change the different poll rate. So all I.O. drivers have this capability. So this is the parameter that I need to write to, and it's a runtime variable that I can set that's automatically going to go out and change the frequency that I'm pulling the data from my PLCs or my end devices. Well, thank you for watching today. If you have any questions of what you saw in this video, please contact me at the email address on the screen. As a note, there is a corresponding video that talks about how to do this very similar um, method to be able to extract that data at a different rate using system platform on the site. Thanks again.